here we study the propagation of electromagnetic waves usually electromagnetic waves can be propagated in three different waves the three different types of propagation of electromagnetic waves is nothing but the first one is a ground wave propagation second one is sky wave propagation and third one is a space wave propagation like this there are three different types of propagation of electromagnetic waves ground wave propagation sky wave propagation and a space wave propagation first we discuss about first one ground wave propagation first we discuss about ground wave propagation now usually to propagate uh, efficiently the electromagnetic waves information signals we need uh, the size of the antenna should be of the order of wavelength of the signals or at least one fourth of the wavelength of the signals to transmit the signals of wavelength lambda then the height of the transmitting antenna and receiving antenna should be of the order of the wavelength of the signals or at least uh, the height of the antenna lambda by 4 means uh, to transmit the signals of uh, high wavelengths uh, the antennas are should having the maximum height uh, more height so that these uh, antennas should be placed uh, very close to the ground if they are placed very close to the ground then when they are propagating through the atmosphere these signals are attenuated how does this are attenuated while they are propagating they induce a current in the ground as they induce the current in the ground they losses their strength that is the reason why here ground is having the strong influence in the propagation of uh, such waves uh, that is the reason why this type of propagation is called here ground wave propagation or it is also called surface wave propagation and this type of propagation is uh, useful for the propagation of signals uh, having the frequency having the frequency less than few megahertz from kilohertz to from hertz to kilohertz up to few megahertz only this type of propagation is useful ground wave propagation is useful using this ground wave propagation a long distance communication cannot be achieved where the transmission can be possible to certain distance only but to achieve the long distance communication we use uh, either sky wave propagation or space wave propagation next we see about a second one sky wave propagation let's see how does using sky wave propagation we achieve the long distance communication in sky wave propagation the long distance communication is achieved by the reflection of signals by the ionospheric layer present in the atmosphere when these signals are uh, reflected back to the ground uh, reflected back to the earth from the ionosphere present in the atmosphere then sky wave propagation is achieved uh, over a long distance now this sky wave propagation is uh, suitable for the propagating the signals of frequency from 3 to 30 megahertz sky wave propagation is a uh, suitable for the propagating signals of a frequency from 3 to 30 megahertz now let us try to understand how does sky wave propagation is achieved here sky wave propagation is achieved by the ionospheric reflection where does this ionosphere forms here ionosphere forms in the at intermediate heights of the atmosphere basically this ionosphere contains a large number of ions here whenever the sun rays are propagating sun rays uh, consists of uh, ultraviolet x-rays like that whenever the sun rays are propagating through the atmosphere at larger heights uh, the density of air is less means at larger heights uh, there are very less number of air molecules to be ionized and uh, close to the earth there are density of the air is more there are so many molecules are present even though at uh, close to the earth uh, the intensity of radiation become less but uh, at some intermediate heights at some intermediate heights uh, there are moderate number of molecules and the intensity of the solar radiation also is moderate so that at intermediate heights so many number of molecules are more uh, ionized uh, so that intermediate heights uh, 
ionosphere is formed with this ionosphere the frequencies of uh, 3 to 30 megahertz signals are reflected back to the ground with this reflection of uh, the signals uh, having frequency between 3 to 3 megahertz back to the ground uh, the sky wave propagation is uh, achieved see suppose this is the ground and this is the transmitting antenna it is sending signals to the atmosphere now suppose uh, these are the d e f1 f2 layers of the ionosphere now it is the signal having the frequency from 3 to 30 megahertz now it is reflected back by the ionosphere and it is received by the receiving antenna here for the frequencies greater than 30 megahertz they are penetrated they penetrated through the atmosphere for example this is a signal having frequency greater than 30 megahertz or greater than 40 megahertz it is penetrated through the atmosphere it cannot be reflected by the ionosphere in this way because of the ionospheric reflection the sky wave propagation is achieved here the reflection is similar to the total internal reflection which we discussed in the optics lesson now we discuss about a uh, space wave propagation.